Hey there, it's uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover, and today I had a friend with me, and so I thought I would try to re-spool my winch. Haven't, haven't done that since uh, a recovery we did a while back, and uh, really to do this safely, you'll want to do it with two people. One person's on the control, and the other person is hand over hand, making sure that the rope goes back with a little bit of uh, a little bit of pressure on it, but not too much. This is a synthetic rope, and uh, so it's not like the old days with the cables and everything. But um, so I just wanted to demonstrate what that looks like and how we do it, and uh, hopefully you'll get something out of it. Uh, just like every time I talk about recovery gear, everybody's got their own way of doing it. That's great. This is just the way I do it, usually because I've read what the manufacturer recommends and try to do it from that. So without further ado, uh, let's get started and try to get this back on. When you get down to the last of it, uh, you want to make sure this is where you could get injured. If you bring this up, then you can pinch your hand, break your hand. So you want to be very careful. The guy that's running the remote needs to watch it very carefully. Slow. Oh. Okay, good. All right. So anyway, thanks for joining me. This is uh, Jeffrey Douglas, SD Rover. If you like overlanding videos, please consider uh, joining me for my adventures. And remember, get outside.